The therabinic device just received FDA approval. It goes back in the early 2000s when my scientific partner, Alexandre Barbeau, and I uh, decided to look at the possibility of treating cancer with radiofrequency electromagnetic fields. We started the work in Europe and examined patients with cancer and identified frequencies that were triggering changes in pulse pressure. And these frequencies were very specific and they would not change whether the patient was young or old, male or female, and irrespective of their ethnic status. We hypothesized that maybe these tumor-specific frequencies could be used to treat cancer. And we developed a small portable device that delivers radio frequency electromagnetic fields throughout the entire body by means of a spoon, like this one, which is placed on the tongue during treatment. So like you would lick your ice cream, when you connect the spoon to the rest of the body, the entire body becomes an antenna. We use 27 megahertz, which is a carrier frequency that has a wavelength of 11 meters. And in the field of bioelectromagnetics, it is known that one third of the wavelength, which would be about three meters, is the optimal way to deliver these frequencies. And the human body is very close. That allows the frequencies when they are placed, when you hold the spoon, to be delivered throughout the entire body. We started a study back in 2003, and we published the results in 2009. And to our surprise, we had two patients with metastatic breast cancer that had significant shrinkage of the tumor. Both patients did not experience any side effects, rather the opposite, they felt better. So that led us to continue our research, and we started a novel study in liver cancer back in 2006. Uh, this was done on 42 patients with uh, uh, advanced liver cancer that had no other options. And in the course of the subsequent years, we found that approximately 10% of patients had significant shrinkage of their tumor, and 50% of patients had stable disease or um, partial response, which means tumor shrinkage, uh, that lasted more than six months. And we're very pleased that uh, in September 2023, the FDA indicated that the device was approved for commercial use for any patient 18 years or older who has failed first-line and second-line therapy with advanced hepatocellular carcinoma. And patients will take the device home and will be treated three times one hour per day. Uh, so we have evidence that this therapy can provide a novel approach for treatment of a disease that is limited to checkpoint inhibitors and multikinase inhibitors. And for patients who have failed first-line and second-line therapy, they frequently don't have any other alternative but hospice care. So this novel treatment will be an alternative that is apparently devoid of any major side effects, and at least we haven't seen any thus far.